Hey everyone, so I wanted to talk about some things you should know about before buying a hedgehog. So I want to go over uh, the type of cage and things you'll need in the cage, and just some things you should know about them. First off, I've had lots of people tell me on uh, YouTube comments and such that their hedgehogs are really mean, they bite, etc, etc. And it kind of confuses me because I've owned over 30 hedgehogs in my life, and not a single one has bitten me and 99% of them have been super t calm and tame. I've had one or two that were a little grouchy but were still very handleable. None of them have ever bitten me or acted mean. So the very first thing you gotta know is, hedgehogs are not naturally just gonna be mean. Though like, like this one, as you can see, very easy to pick up and very easy to hold. This is how all my hedgehogs were when they were babies, when they were two months old and three months old when I sold them. So if you buy a hedgehog or any pet, the very first thing you need to know is, Try to handle them first and make sure you're getting them when they're already calm and tame. This is how a good hedgehog should act, no matter what the age. When you uncover them, they might be a little, you know, she stayed in the ball for a second. But now she's curious and walking around. If I go near her too much, she might hiss up a little bit, you can see. But that's not too bad. She's not curling into a ball and jumping at me. And to pick her up, all you should have to do is put your hand underneath, because they have fur underneath instead of spikes. So a hedgehog should act just about like this when you buy them even. So that's the first thing. Make sure you handle them and you get a good hedgehog from the start. Don't buy one that's been neglected and, you know, maybe not treated very well and is mean because it's going to be pretty hard to change that around. Can be done, but it's best to start with a nice one. So in the cage, I'm actually going to show you guys how to make a cage like this. I'll put an annotation here. I've got a how to make a hedgehog cage video. But I just use these plastic uh, tubs and they work great, they're easy to clean, they're not as heavy as a glass or screen cage and they're just amazing for, uh, for the hedgehogs. Inside the cage you're going to need a hide, somewhere for them to sleep in, a food dish, and also a wheel, which I don't have currently in here. Uh, the wheel should be about 12 inches and it should be a flat bottom wheel, so a pretty big wheel with flat bottom, no bars. You, you want their feet to be able to just run on a flat surface. And then most people are going to suggest a water bowl. And that's good if you have just one hedgehog, that is pretty good. I myself use water bottles because it's so much easier. Uh, I've never had a problem with them in all the years I've owned hedgehogs. My hedgehogs have all done fine with them. But I'm sure some people are going to say, oh, you should use a water dish. Water bottles are no good, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. You can say that if you want. But I haven't had a single problem with water bottles. So that's what I use. I find them easier. But you can use a water dish if you want, if that's what you prefer. And then for bedding... The cheapest that I find is wood chip bedding. Now do not use pine or cedar. Pine or cedar is bad for lots of small animals. You should really stay away from both of those. Go with aspen, which is what I have in here, which is a, a better quality wood for uh, pretty much all types of animals to, be, to live on. You could also use more expensive stuff like that care fresh paper bedding, and there's other stuff too. Uh, but if you go with a wood chip bedding, make sure to stay with aspen. Other than that, um, you need food, and you know, the staple diet for them could be cat food. But make sure you get some high quality cat food, and I recommend mixing two brands. They don't eat very much, so if you buy two bags of cat food, those two bags, if you mix them together, you know, and then feed them, they'll last a pretty long time. You also want high uh, protein, 35% or higher, and low fat, 15% or less fat uh, in the food. So don't just go buy some low quality fat food, uh, cat food. Go and uh, look at the labels and try to get something that's, uh, you know, pretty good quality. It's worth spending a little bit more on their food because really, like I said, think about how much a cat eats. And a cat weighs, you know, 10 to 15 pounds. These guys weigh, what, a pound? So, I mean, they're eating a tenth of what a cat eats. So that food lasts pretty long. So, um, I think that's about all you guys need to know. Uh, to get one of these guys, you got to get a cage and all this stuff, like I said. If you make your own cage... You can make your own cage, just get a hide. You can even use a cardboard box as a hide. You could use anything you want. So you could really build their cage, uh, if you use my method that I showed earlier, for maybe 30 bucks with the food dish and everything. Uh, and then the hedgehogs usually cost, I've seen them priced anywhere from 65 up to 200 or more. Just depends who you buy them from. So... If you get lucky and get a hedgehog for 65 you could actually get a hedgehog tank and everything, the whole setup, for 100 bucks. So that's about how much they cost, although usually it's a little more than that. I think I paid 175 for each of my hedgehogs. But um, 
that's just some of the things you should know before owning them. A couple of the uh, cleaning things you need to know is their back nails usually get long, so you will want to cut those. Uh, I'll put an annotation to my hedgehog nail cutting video up here. And then you should give them a bath, but not too often, maybe once a month. You can do it as much as once a week, but their skin can get dry if you do it too often. So I'll put an annotation maybe up in the middle here uh, for how to give your hedgehog a bath. That should be pretty much all you need to know to own these guys. They're pretty fun pets and easy to easy to own, really. It's not too hard to take care of them. You just need to give them food and water and then clean their cage about once a week and then play with them when you, uh, you, know, when you have time to play with them. So... Uh, Anyways, if you guys have any questions about hedgehogs, let me know, and uh, happy pet keeping.